I had a question about the sugars. Forgive me, I'm not a chemist, but you mentioned that you can connect these two sugars in the lab, but you can't do it out in the earth uh, because it requires a lot of energy. But I'm thinking about all these sources of energy in the earth that exist, you know, volcanoes or the sun or what makes it so particular that you can only do it in the lab but not on earth. There's enough energy out there to do this. The problem is you want to hook them together in particular ways. You have to hook them together in particular ways. And they end up hooking at the wrong sites. That's what happens. And so in the lab, what you do is you take human designed groups and you hook, you block all the other positions and then you hook just the two remaining positions and then you de-block them. So it's a very sophisticated human derived thing with all these human derived methodologies. Each one of these steps is like building a car. I mean, it's a lot of work that has gone into developing these methods. So you can do it in a lab using modern techniques, but they're not prebiotically relevant, meaning that it could have never happened in nature that way because all of these are human-designed methods. 